and welcome back to another episode of When They're Cute and You're Stumped. The St. James Show, where we try and answer the strange but serious questions your children ask. I'm Jonathan Blevins. And I'm Kevin Burns. And, and we're, we're your, your co-hosts. co-hosts. That was our best one. Nice. This is getting good. Kevin, what have your kids been up to lately? Anything funny? Hey, you know what? How about this? We'll ask this question instead. What is the craziest thing one of your kids has done during quarantine? Oh, um, I think probably... I don't even remember why, but my wife was trying to get Maria out of the bathroom. She wouldn't leave. And she was playing with the toilet. So we were saying, stop playing with the potty because it's gross. <laughs> and instead of leaving, she looked my wife dead in the eye and licked the toilet seat. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Kids do the strangest things. That is. What do you even do with that? Yeah, I don't know. And I, I would sound I, like I seem shocked and I kind of am, but I, I'm not because I just, I get it kids mine's not like i guess like my kids are probably doing crazier things than this but this is the one that comes to my mind uh caleb is my oldest my five-year-old and he has just decided that he is done eating um chicken unless it's in the form of a chicken nugget and i make really good chicken grilled chicken or just like whatever and i'm pretty i'm pretty good at it and he is the other day i made it and he wouldn't eat it and i literally had already cooked it and i i put it in some egg put it in some panko crumbs and deep fried it so that he would eat the homemade chicken nuggets Hate it and so i i need to stop spoiling but at, at some point you know just gotta give in anyway brother our question today is do we get wings in heaven and i'm going to tackle this one first but all you, i see this all over the place on social media or just in conversations where someone will lose a loved one and it's very common to say something like oh they finally got their wings and it always bothers me just a little bit because I totally get the sentiment and I totally get that like, you're saying they're in heaven and that's a beautiful thing and we need to pray that everyone's in heaven. Um, but actually, I think it does a little bit of a disservice to those people um, who have passed away because we actually become saints when we die and we are in heaven. We do not become angels and saints don't necessarily need wings. And God actually loves us and loves saints more than he loves angels. He places us above them, which is a beautiful thing. And so we become saints. We don't necessarily need wings. Am I right, Kevin? Yeah. How about you? <laughs> so like you said, we don't actually, we won't need wings. Jesus is sent into heaven without them. So if Jesus doesn't need wings, we don't need wings. And when we get to heaven, God's all we need. Because we won't want anything anymore because we'll have everything we need. God is what we want in the long run. So. When you get to heaven, you'll never be bored and you won't need wings. Absolutely love it. Let's all strive to be saints every single day. St. James, don't forget, you can submit your questions to our emails, which will be on the link below in this video. And we will talk to you soon. Until then, have fun with the kids.